And new video tonight after a microburst hits northeast Denver. This tree down at 29th in Bel Air. A falling tree limb hitting a power line at Locust in Monaco. Right now, about 700 customers without power, but Excel hoping to have it restored by midnight. Falling trees also crashing onto homes like this one at Martin Luther King and Eudora. Residents in northeast Denver telling us the wind came and went quickly. Suddenly the rain came in certain areas sideways and trees started bending and branches started falling and then it ended. I mean, it was over in a minute. And check out this car smashed by a tree near 26th and Eudora. No injuries reported from tonight's microburst. Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson tracking the radar and explaining what happened tonight. You know, it doesn't look like much when you check it out on radar. This is a loop from 5 o'clock until 8 o'clock. Watch this area, this little thunderstorm that moved into the metro area. Hardly produced any rainfall, but what happened is the lower levels of the atmosphere were very, very dry, and the result was that it caused the gusty winds. Here it is a little closer, right in the area that was impacted by this. And as the storm moved through right here, about 645, we had those outflow winds. It's all clear now, but this is what a microburst does. We had moist air aloft, but dry air near the ground. So when the precipitation fell, it evaporated at the base of the cloud, cooling the air. That cool air is heavy, drops to the ground. You can get 50, even up to 70 mile per hour wind gusts for a very brief time. This is what it looked like coming in. Right in here as that moved into the city. It didn't look like much, but it was because of the drier air near the ground. Boom, it just blew out this quick little burst of wind that caused the damage.